Hi, I'm Caroline Weaver, and we are on week or part two of the spiritual exercises of Ignatius, and we are on literal week 11. So we're on week 11, day three. The title of this week is called The Call of the King. So a lot of the um, meditations are geared toward uh, majesty in the kingdom. So today we are um, we're going to do a Lexio Divina on uh, Colossians 1, 15 through 20. So I invite you to close your eyes. And to breathe slowly. Inhale. He sees me. Exhale. He knows me. Inhale, he loves me. I am part of his kingdom. I invite you to relax every part of your body, giving your body loving attention. You're bringing not only your heart to this prayer time, not only your thoughts, not only your soul, but your body too. So relaxing, letting go of every tense muscle. As we have physically settled down, I invite you to give loving attention to your mind racing. You might have fears, anxieties, worries, uh, a laundry list of things you need to do after this prayer time. Kids that are clamoring for attention. Whatever it may be, I invite you to give that care, your cares, over to God. Coming to an inner silence of mind. Imagine, one by one, giving those things over to Him. Come to inner stillness of our bodies, inner silence of our minds, an inner solitude now where it's just you alone with the Lord. Looking at his face. And beholding him, beholding you, and smiling with love. Lord, we pray that more of our day would be devoted and committed to your service and praise. In Jesus, we seek the grace to not be deaf to your call, but prompt and eager to accomplish your will.
Colossians 1 starts out verse at 13 saying, God rescued us from the domain of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved son in whom we have redemption and the forgiveness of sins. He is the image, Jesus, is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For by him all things were created, both in the heavens and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities, all things have be cr been created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is also head of the body, the church, and he is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead so that he himself will come to have first place in everything. For it was the Father's good pleasure for all the fullness to dwell in him, Jesus, and through him to reconcile all things to himself, having made peace through the blood of his cross, through him, I say, whether things on heaven or things on earth or things in heaven. Let's pause and just sit with that reading. So with this next reading, it's reflection and meditation. So there may be a word or phrase that really stands out to you. And you're also free to just respond to the whole thing as a whole, to reflect on the whole thing. It's just nice to have a word or phrase just so you're not feeling overwhelmed by the whole thing. But just the whole concept you can also reflect on. Don't feel limited to just a word or phrase. This is a big passage, just in terms of the grandeur of it. So I'll read it again for reflection. For he rescued us from the domain of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins, Jesus is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation, for by him all things were created, both in the heavens and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities, all things have been created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is also head of the body, the church, and he is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, <clears throat> so that he himself will come to have first place in everything. <clears throat> For it was the Father's good pleasure for all the fullness to dwell in him and through him to reconcile all things to himself, having made peace through the blood of his Christ. Through him, I say, whether things on earth or things in heaven. So take some time to reflect, to meditate, on this, this, a word or a phrase or the entire passage. And what that is, is like the cow chewing on the cud.
turn off the video. If this isn't enough time, I'll read for the third time. And at the end of that, we'll have opportunity to, re to respond. Talk to God about it and listen to what he says. For he rescued us, God, from the domain of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. He, his beloved Son, Christ, is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For by him all things were created, both in the heavens and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities, all things have been created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is also head of the body, the church, and he is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, so that he himself will come to have first place in everything. For it was the Father's good pleasure for all the fullness to dwell in him. And through him to reconcile all things to himself, having made peace through the blood of his cross. Through him, I say, were the things on earth or things in heaven. Spend some time responding to God listening. Turn off the video if that's not enough time. I'm going to read it for the last time and we'll enter into a time of silence. And sometimes with silence and centering, this is contemplatio, is um, having a word or a phrase that really helps you focus your attention on God. For he rescued us from the domain of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For by him all things were created, both in the heavens and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities, all things have been created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is also head of the body, the church, and he is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, so that he himself will come to have first place in everything. For it was the Father's good pleasure for all the fullness to dwell in him and through him to reconcile all things to himself, having made peace through the blood of his cross. Through him, I say, whether things on earth or things in heaven. Let's enter into three minutes of silence.
as we come out of this time of silence into the world of words, I'll say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Oh, I, the Lord's Prayer, sometimes I say glory be, and sometimes I say the Lord's Prayer, but it so fits with this passage of scripture about Jesus's, you know, he transferred us from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of his beloved son where we have forgiveness. Forgive us this day, you know, forgive us our sin, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And then also the, uh, in heaven and earth, you know, may your kingdom come, will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So it's so much parallels Jesus's prayer. The Lord's prayer is inspired because Jesus said it. So, um, that was a lovely passage. And just to close, before you take your candle or go on a walk or do, it's not quite light here yet. Oh, I just saw Dawn has approached. She can't, I don't think you can see it. I can see it through the corner of my window. So I am going to not take my candle, but go for a walk. Um, but I just wanted to close back to the kingdom thoughts. Um, Dallas Willer, he did a little, uh, kind of a paraphrase of Mark 1, 15. Um, maybe I'll read it like what Mark 1, 15 is, is in the New American Standard, and then I'll give his little paraphrase of it. And he wrote this in The Divine Conspiracy. And I, it's just related to the call of the king and kingdom. Um, in saying, Jesus said, the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. And then Jesus, um, or Jesus, Dallas Willard said in his paraphrase, all the preliminaries have been taken care of and the rule of God is now accessible to everyone. Review your plans for living and base your life on this remarkable new opportunity. It's review your plans for living is the whole repent, turn around, you know, disordered love, freedom from, review your plans. That's what we did the first part of the exercises, freedom for. Remarkable new opportunity. You have freedom for that remarkable new opportunity. So converse with God. Remember to have an examined prayer at another time of day and be blessed.